Well, hello, and welcome to the My Wool Mitten podcast. My name is Carrie, and I'm coming to you from the middle of the mitten, Michigan's Lower Peninsula, where I live on a small farm with my sheep and my old horse, my family all around. And in this episode, we're going to do a little catch up on our sock spin along. So it's just going to be a short update, and uh, I'm just sitting down here to talk to you for a few minutes. How have you been? We've all been spinning for socks. If you're new here, uh, we started out the new year, 2022, spinning some fibers with the goal of making some yarn to knit some socks. And the basket that you saw me holding up at the beginning is what I have spun up for my sock, my particular pair of sock yarns. So, um, I, first of all, I sat down thinking that today was Wednesday, and I thought it would be good to do a middle of the week catch up. And then I realized that today is Thursday, but it's okay because I did a little vlogcast on Monday. So we're going to call that good. And then I also realized that I'm wearing the same old sweatshirt that I was wearing on Monday. Um, it is clean. It's been washed. Different turtleneck. Same sweatshirt. So what does that tell you about my capsule wardrobe? It's true. It pretty much consists of old gray sweatshirts and a variety of colors of checkered flannel shirts. Um, had the shower this morning, hair is what it is, but at this point you guys don't care, I hope. Um, I do have, and I apologize if I have to look down, I have a few notes because what I really wanted to do was um, touch on a few things that have been mentioned in the comments um, throughout the different videos. And if I didn't just make little notes about them, I would forget. And then when I finish touching on some of that, one of the, the main things that I've been asked about is how long is the spin along going to go till? And I thought that I would talk about that a little bit, if that's okay with you guys. So um, let's get started, okay? So I thought I'd start by mentioning a couple of things that were um, brought up in comments on some of the videos. This is in, by no means all of them. There are many wonderful comments, um, both on YouTube here and on Instagram. Um, but back, you might remember that I talked about the two books that I used quite often. And when both were by Interweave Press, uh, Homespun, Hand Knit, and Hand Knit Socks, or it's just called Socks. And two people mentioned another sock book that I thought I would share with you. I don't happen to own this one, but I know that the author is a, a very, very good for both beginners and experienced alike. But that, um, it was mentioned that the Ann Bud sock book called Getting Started Knitting Socks might be a book that would be helpful if you were needing a resource for knitting with hand spun yarn because it does talk about, uh, from what I understand, it talks about knitting with any um, gauge, weight, uh, size of yarn. And so I thought I would share that with you guys. I do remember that Ann Budd did an article in Spinoff Magazine about that very thing and shared a pattern that she um, had knit sock with hand-spun sock yarn. I do remember reading that. So I wanted to share that. Some of the viewers had shared that with me, and I wanted to pass that along. Now, um, have you all been using the sugar scrub on your hands and taking good care of your hands? I hope so. That was a popular idea, and um, Stephanie commented that she uses sugar scrub in the shower and that she usually does her hands too. So, you know, you might not have thought about that. That might be something to think about doing. Another question that I've had a couple of times was about the sock that I showed in one of the earlier episodes that was um, a pair of boot socks that had calf shaping. And I don't remember exactly what pattern that was. I'm pretty sure it was a free pattern but I can't remember for certain which one it was. And I am going to try to replicate that myself because that is a great fitting um, sock. And I do know, and again, referencing the, the books that I had talked about, if I, I know a few of you either already had these or you picked them up. Each one of these has at least one pattern for a pair of socks with calf shaping. They do happen to both be socks that are knit top down, but you know, you could, you could reverse engineer that. So that is an option um, and probably some kind of a Ravel research you might come up with something. So um, that was another question. A lot of you uh, really liked the tip for using the needle gauge to 
give you an idea of where maybe a starting point for using your hand spun yarn. And someone watching commented that um, that they knew that they knew of that tip too, but that the yarn was to be held double to get the correct size. And um, and I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was that mentioned that. Now, and that might be true. Now, I had never heard that before, and I've never done that. And I can't quite think of what the reason would be, why you would double it, double your spun yarn to see what your gauge would be. But maybe my brain is just drawing a blank. So if anyone knows why that would be, why that would make more sense, it, it very well might. I just, I just don't know, and I hadn't ever heard of that before. So I thought that was an interesting comment, and maybe... Some of you are smarter about that stuff than me and could tell us why. But I've always just done it from um, the ply, whatever I had plied, to see how that would work. So that that was another one. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty much finished with my spin for this sock. Now I'm wondering, how are you all doing? I am, thank you for sharing on Instagram using the hashtag SockSpinAlong. And... I know that some were using different blends of fibers. Uh, I'm especially curious for those of you who might have been using, there were a few that were going to try to use fibers that were different staple lengths and try to get those blended. Um, and some were going to maybe spin one ply of, of one fiber, another ply of another fiber and blend it together. Uh, so maybe if you've done that, let us know how that worked for you or share. And um, I think that would be interesting. So that's about all I've got for today. I have a little bit more to finish um, plying. I have everything spun. I'm sure I have more than enough yarn than what I need. If not, uh, I've got more of the brown Cordell and Alpaca. That, that's my main color, and I'll just add that, <clears throat> add that on. So now to move into um, how long this, this spin-along is going to last. And um, really, I didn't have an official start and end date when I began doing this. Um, I just was thinking of through the month of January, I guess. Um, but I was going to say that we'd kind of finish up at the end of January, but that's coming up pretty quick. So why don't we, as an official date, of course, spin, spin as long as you want to, um, or if you're finding this video in the future sometime, um, just start spinning. But we started on Distaff Day, which was January 7th, and that was a Friday. And I thought, well, how about if we go till February 7th, which is a Monday. But so about a month, and um, give or take a little. And let's just kind of um, figure on that. Now, I will tell you that as I was getting so excited about spinning for the socks, I thought, I, I just got so overly enthusiastic, and I have uh, several fibers that I want to spin up. You know, not a full pound, but four ounces, six ounces, eight ounces, just the right amount for spinning up for socks. And I thought I had already intended to work my way through that. I already had inventoried for it, made a list to do that. And so why don't I just keep going for socks or mittens, maybe some hats, but definitely I'm getting excited for the socks. And so I thought, I'm going to spin and knit a pair of socks a month, and I'll have a dozen by the end of the year. And then I thought, well, no way I'm going to do that. So then I thought, maybe I'll do six. Maybe I'll spin one month and knit one month. And that would be doable, but I still might get a little bit distracted. So I'm setting myself a goal of spinning and knitting, spinning four and knitting four pairs of socks this year. Um, my sock drawer is pretty well empty of anything hand spun and hand knit. You saw the few examples of what I had. Sorry, the, the utility people are still working outside trimming trees, and so um, you might even hear them a little bit, but I see them go by. Um, anyway, my sock drawer is, is uh, empty of hand spun and hand knit socks except for those few examples that I showed you. And so I really want to change that. And it used to be I had three, four pairs all the time. And so I figure with four pairs, um, I know I want at least one good pair of boot socks, maybe two. Those are fast because they're big needles. So a couple of pairs of boot socks, at least one, 
tall, you know, cap all the way almost to the knee. So they stay up inside the boot. I want uh, maybe two pair of just what I call my everyday socks. So they come about mid calf, fairly thick, but we'll, we'll go in the heavier shoes that I wear mostly in the winter time. And then I think I had said before, I wear wool socks all year round. I can't stand cotton on my feet. I just wear thinner wool socks in the summertime. And so I need one or two pairs of those. So that's, that's what I'm going to aim for. And would you guys like to follow around, along? I mean, I, like I said, I guess we're pretty, this is pretty, um, you know, no rules, no frills. Just this was what I was doing. And I'm, I'm glad to see that so many of us um, kind of felt the same way and getting enthused about it again. But, um, you know, I wasn't giving away prizes. There wasn't a deadline. But if we want to check in with each other, I'm hoping to podcast more regularly this year, at least once a month. And so um, maybe we'll just kind of follow along with that, continue to use the, the hashtag. And I especially would like to at least maybe follow through, let's say if we end the sock spin along around February 7th, you know, give or take a little, and then maybe we have a little cast on party for our hand spun socks. Would you guys like that idea? Um, not going to go live or do a Zoom or anything like that, but just pick a day to have like a, um, a cast on with our hand spun socks. So let me know what you think about that. And I think that's all that I have for today. So, um, yeah, I'm glad to see you today and hopefully I'll visit with you real soon. Take care. Keep spinning.